How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today this is the big announcement I've been talking to you guys about. We're on a brand new 2023 Cobia. 35 foot Cobia guys. I'm going to give you guys a full review. We're going to start off in the back of the boat. Here? Well, I mean, I don't even have to explain. You guys know what these are. These are the brand new XTOs 425 Yamahas. They sound amazing guys. A lot of people complain about them being loud. I actually like the loud so I would say these run great and they're very efficient for bmv 8s so i wanted to start back here another thing we got two live walls right here huge live walls as you guys can see we also have a little door here where you guys can open up this ladder right here boom and it flips out nice and easy storage Now back here, there's this huge open space right here. We have fresh water on this side, salt water on this side. And we have this beautiful bench seat that comes out. We have great seating, but still not compromising on the space back here, guys. Another cool thing about this boat is if you guys want to access your hatch, you just hit this button right here. And this whole thing pops up and you guys have easy access to all your bilges, anything you guys want to reach, very easy to work on. I'll show you guys in here. See, you got all your lines, and it's a big open space down there. All right, guys, this is the tuna door, as you guys can see, very big, and very easy access. You have your ladder right there. Those two pins come right here, and it's super easy to put on and off. Just gotta take the strap off, Hook it here and you're ready to use your dive ladder. As you guys see here, you also have to hold different rods here, these little holes. You also have a built already from factory battery charger. So you guys can charge your batteries. Right back here, you have access to all your batteries, switches, bilge pumps, transducer. Very easy to work on this boat, guys, if you want to get in there. Now, in some models, you can get a refrigerator and a couple drawers, but us, we have the Sea Keeper option. Right here. We got the Sea Keeper in there with its own batteries, its own thing charging right here. We're gonna show you how the Sea Keeper works in a bit. Here, we have a little bit of a cutting station. Here, you can put your drinks, anything you want. It's not really slippery, so you can put stuff here. You have here to put your knives, things like that. Have a little wash down right here and you have here take a shower we have on both sides fish coolers so you can put in through your tuna door right here straight in to this big cooler right here also guys this has so you can press a button and get all the water out if you want to also very nice features the same on both sides i got matching one on this side as of right now, we just got the anchor, back anchor in there. And of course, on the opposite side, you have a couple more rod holders over here too. Remember guys, this is a fishing boat. Another cool feature about this boat is it has one gas tank, but it has, you guys can put gas on the left side or on the right side. So that comes in handy when you're out there going to maybe a gas station and you're like, well, it's uncomfortable to come in through the left. Now you don't have to worry about what side to come in because you have gas tanks on both sides of the boat. So it's a lot easier to fuel when you're trailering it. All right, here in the helm, we have twin Garmin's and the Yamaha. This is to set your autopilot, all types of switches here of lights. I'm old school guys. I like having switches. I know some people in some boats have everything on the screen but i rather have the switches i'm old school guys you have your windlass also it comes with a remote control windlass so you can move it up and down the anchor from anywhere on the boat wireless that's also a really cool feature you got your yamaha helm here you got your joystick you got your bennett trim tabs and you got your radio i believe we have eight jl audio speakers all throughout the boat we got some here we got some up here some in the front and also up there sounds amazing guys i tried it i tried it out sounds really good 
we also have a couple little step ladder here so if you want to stand up and see over the bow so it's kind of big you can do that got a little charging area here usb port another cool feature that i forgot to mention is the ac from inside you can open these ducts and you can actually as a captain get a little bit of cold air while you're riding out here i love that feature it, on a really really hot day we're in october i know it's not summer but in the summer days i know i'm going to be using this a lot you also have a little bit of storage up here right now it's not being used for anything but you can store anything up here life jackets whatever you guys want or easy access to your radar or anything like that also up here in the front kind of hard to reach but you got another little bit of storage up here also right before you get to the head you have another fish box here this one we have it stored with easy access to get all our life vests we have the same size um, fish box on the other opposite side of the boat too now guys this is one of the best features on the boat something i've never had on a boat before which is air conditioning guys now walk in here you have a full bed right here you got your nice little stuff to store things access to all your electronics up here also easy access you got your toilet right here wash your hands you got your air controller you got your seat keeper also here and this guy's is amazing the kids i had them in here the other day they loved it i turned the ac on and it's nice to have a boat that's an open console you know center console but also a nice place to rest up here on the front of the boat guys we have this huge coffin top here which also if you open it has two coolers this ice has been there since yesterday guys and it has not gone down a bit we have another up here insulated of course this you just got to bring it down you have these pads right here you can just lift them turn them you got backrests you also have storage under each one here same as the other side this piece right here comes off you can take this piece off if you want to be able to stand there and fish have your cup holders you have your windlass also the one that i was telling you guys that i could use remote control now one of the coolest features of this boat is has a table right here this table you hit the button here starts to rise you guys can put it perfectly level with the cushions it brings a cushion inside so you can make it a whole sun bathing area or you can lift it up a tad bit more and it could become a table which is awesome so as everybody likes to come to the front and eat on the table all right guys this is at the highest level right here perfect table also this boat does also come with a sunshade it has the little clips up here it has two little poles over there and a whole sunshade for this area which comes already with the boat you don't have to order it aftermarket all right guys for those of you guys that have never been on a boat with a sea keeper guys there's not too much wave so i can't really show you guys too well here is pretty much the roll let me see if i can get it to roll maybe up to three or four so you guys can actually see it okay there's a couple over here the four three now you guys look here those kind of going side to side let's see five but we click this on turned on that's it no more roll Waves are still hitting us on the side, but no roll whatsoever, guys. For those of you guys that get seasick, this is a must. You see, the waves are coming down sideways. They're about maybe one foot. Not, nothing crazy, but still. The boat's not rocking anything at all. But now if I turn it off, right there, I just turned it off. Let's give it a couple seconds. Waves are going to start coming in and start rocking the boat. Here we go. We're going to start seeing three, three four five here we go six seven eight let's click it on now eight here we go just kicked on that's it no more roll guys 
All right, guys, so kind of went through everything in the boat. Didn't get into too much, too much detail because I'm sure there's thousands of videos out there. But what you guys really want to see is the performance. So let's get the drone up in the air and let's give you guys a little bit of performance shots. Here we go. Right, guys i know you guys saw the drone views but now what everybody wants to know is how good this boat runs so i'm going to run it for you guys i'm going to show you at different cruising speeds how much get miles per gallons it wastes and top speed and all that stuff so let's get to it all right one thing people say about these boats well not, not these boats but the engines is that they're really loud so you guys are going to be able to hear what it sounds like so we're going to take off plane here Just like that, a 35 foot boat got on plane in about 3-4 seconds guys. So right now, we're running about 30 miles an hour, 29, let's get it up to maybe 33, 34 miles an hour. Mind you, we're in a one foot chop, but you guys see here, we're running about 31, 32, 1.3, 1.4, more or less. And this is the cruising speed right now. Show the back. That's the cruising speed, guys. If I, if I were to go, if I were to go to Bimini, this is the speed that I would probably go about 35, 1.4 for two V8. That's really good, guys. No trim tabs applied, nothing like that. Engines all the way down. Bring them up a little bit. We got up to 1.5 miles per gallon. Now bringing up the, the engines just a tad bit. As you guys see this boat, we're in a one foot shop. Very stable, very good. Now I'm gonna get you guys on the flat side so we can get a full speed run. Now we're up to 41 miles an hour and we're still burning 1.3 only. That's great a fuel economy for such a big boat. Alright guys, let's stretch your legs a little bit. See what she can do. Look at 
positive, guys. So this is the brand new 2023 Cobia. Now, if you guys have a new boat, it doesn't even have to be a new boat. It could be an older boat. If you guys want me to come to you and do a review of your boat, let me know. I love doing these things. I love checking out all the new boats, all the new things, even older boats, because there's some good classics out there that you don't need to do anything to. So hit me up, email me. I'm going to put my link in the description of my Instagram, my phone number, my email. And if you guys want me to review your boats, shoot me an email and I'll come to you. We'll do the same thing for you guys. Catch you guys on the next video.